YouTube, what's going on? This is Kevin the Tech Ninja, and I've been using the OnePlus 2 for about five days now, and it's a heck of a phone. I'm really enjoying myself with it right now, but there are some major flaws that are turning people away from this phone. Let's talk about the major flaws of the OnePlus 2. Number one, the invite system. So you really can't just go out and buy a OnePlus 2. You need to wait and beg for an invite. And the invite list is huge. I mean, we're talking millions of people. And I bet most of the people on the list don't even wanna buy one. They just entered for the heck of it or to resell it. The invite system needs to go. OnePlus has made enough money off the OnePlus 1 and also the OnePlus 2. They sold out within a matter of seconds. So figure this thing out and let us just buy the doggone phone. Number two, no NFC. NFC may not be a big deal to you, but to me it is. Not just for exchanging pictures, but also for mobile payments. Google Play is coming in full force this year, and OnePlus 2 will be left out in the dust. Mobile payments are the future, and OnePlus is living in the past on this one. It's weird that the one had it, but the two does not. Never settle anyone? Number three is USB-C. The USB-C connector isn't a bad thing. It's the future, and I'm all for innovating. But don't remove older ways of charging the device too. It's also USB 2.0, so that means it's a slower charge. So you'll spend more than double the time charging the device. Qi may not be the number one way to charge a device, but once Apple jumps into the mix, it'll become mainstream. Qi enabled furniture will become way more relevant. And once again, OnePlus will be left in the dust. Charging my device is becoming a chore now, having to lug around my cable or purchase more cables. I'm all in for USB-C, but I don't think OnePlus was the right company to do it. Number four, less battery life. That's correct, according to reviews and also my early tests, the battery life is not as good as it was with the OnePlus One. Maybe it's the hardware or maybe it's the extra bells and whistles like fingerprint scanner and the new Oxygen OS. Whatever the case may be, you won't have that extreme battery life that kept many people juiced up during the day. Number five, it doesn't live up to the model of flagship killer. The specs are not killing any flagships that are out there right now. And OnePlus is falling into its own hype and not listening to their own model of never settling. OnePlus did settle with this phone and it's apparent just from the spec sheet. And those are my top five flaws of the OnePlus 2. Make sure you check out my other video that I just posted a few days ago where I walk you through the reasons on why the OnePlus is still a good phone. Hey guys, be looking out for my full review that I'll be posting really soon. And as always guys, my name is Kevin the Tech Ninja. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel for more great videos and giveaways. Talk to you guys later.